So I had a lot of people tell me I made the Vesper wrong. Uh, so we're gonna revisit that right now with another chaser. I would have liked to have replied to this a little sooner, but a lot of you pointed out uh, that maybe I shouldn't be drinking at work. Um, while that's not necessarily true, it didn't seem like the worst idea to wait till I had an off day. A lot of people have asked me, uh, since I've started the show, where do you buy your liquor? And occasionally I'll answer Aster Wines. Aster Wines is a kind of magic place where you can buy any spirit known to man. So I'm standing outside of Aster Wines, I've bought the necessary spirits, and uh, I'm gonna go home and mix up this Vesper the way you all say I should, and maybe you'll prove me wrong. I'm gonna get a taxi. I'm lazy, very lazy. I'm back from the liquor store and we're now in my uh, pretty small New York kitchen. Um, for those of you who don't live in New York, this is my kitchen. It's small. Uh, there's a stove over there and a fridge, a little bit of counter space, and a window. This kitchen actually has its own window. This is, uh, by New York standards, primo stuff. Uh, you guys had a lot of opinions about how I should not make this drink and how I should make it. Um, we're gonna try them out. Everybody said Kochi Americano, so we have Kochi Americano. Not everybody, but some of you said I had to get this stuff. Uh, we're gonna try your Kina Lero de Or. Kina Le... Kina Lero de Or? Kina Aero Dor. Uh, Kina Lero Dor. Well, some of you pointed out that this was probably the best and closest recreation of the original Kina Lele that you could get. Um, and that... I probably used the wrong gin. In the book, it's true, he does ask for Gordon's, so I picked up a half a gallon of Gordon's gin because it was the smallest bottle that they had available at the store. Additionally, some of you objected to my use of Stoli for the uh, Vesper. Um, we're gonna try it with Kettle One today. A couple of different Kina approaches. Kettle One instead of Stoli, Gordon's as described in the book. In the interest of Ian Fleming's original intent, we're gonna shake this thing and see how it comes out. I've put a garnish pick into the one so that I can tell them apart afterwards because they're going to be pretty identical. So the one with the garnish pick is the uh, Kochi Americano version. There it goes, a shaken martini. This drink is the same ratio as the one from the episode, but cut in half for quantity size. So it won't fill this glass, and that's fine. These glasses are kind of too big for most drinks anyway. Just a little zest on this one, and the same here. Perfect. Let's start with the Kochi. I, I'm not going to confess, this is definitely better than the version uh, from the episode that I made. It's very hard for me because in my head I keep comparing it to a martini the way that I happen to like martinis to be made, and this is not like that at all, so... It's not my martini, but it is not a terrible drink. I don't know, for my palate, it's just kind of one note. It doesn't really evolve, uh, which at least it doesn't go bad like the other version did. Um, but I would like the drink to have a little bit more complexity in it, but I wouldn't send it back. I could drink it. Okay, let's try it. This is with the Kina the Leora Dior. Kina Leero Dior. Damn it. Okay, this has some more orange notes in it. Um, I don't know if that's in my head or not, but I definitely taste a little bit of orange, and I kind of like that. It definitely has a little bit more color, flavor-wise, than the other version. I like this one better. Not bad. I wonder how it would be with something... I wonder how it would be with a better gin. Let's just try that real fast. Okay, so just uh, for my own purposes, Mix it up again, uh, this time with my favorite gin, with some Ford's gin. Let's see how it goes. Mm. 
Now this drink I like. Yeah, I like this drink a lot better. Um, I think you could still probably do without the vodka and just make it a kind of quinine martini. If I was making a Vesper for myself, I would definitely make it with the Kina Leo, uh, Leero Dior. Kina Leero Dior and with Ford's Gin. Um, I think Gordon's is not bad, but Ford's is just my brand. I like it a lot better. Um, twist of lemon, perfect. Uh, if you got to use vodka, I can't say I hate the Kettle One. I just don't know that it actually adds anything to the drink, really. Thanks for watching. Uh, another chaser. I'm not going to have another episode until after Thanksgiving. Um, work got a little hectic. And I have another episode in the can that I want to get out for you. Uh, but with the holiday, it doesn't seem... It seems like bad timing. Again, I haven't <laughs> really mentioned this on camera too many times because I started it after we finished filming our last season. But I do have a Patreon up. Um, so if you like the show a lot, uh, please subscribe, uh, like the videos, tell your friends, and if you really like the show, pop over to the Patreon and um, sign up. I'm trying to do more with that, uh, some exclusive stuff. We've released some behind-the-scenes footage. I'm going to do more behind-the-scenes this week, I think. Um, and I owe everybody there a couple of live streams. So we're going to do a live stream this week or next um, on the Patreon. Anyway, um, thanks again for watching. Love you guys. Uh, you set me straight on this. It is not a terrible drink. I just made it wrong. Uh, mea culpa. That means my bad, I think. This is another chaser from How to Drink. See you guys very soon with another episode of the main show.